momentum. Oh, momentum is the mass times velocity, which is speed. See, that means mass, okay, bigger mass, and bigger speed, which is moving so fast, then we get more momentum. Usually, linear momentum is used uh, usually. Okay, then we use P right there, so which is M times V, which is mass times velocity. From this mass and velocity, also we can find out kinetic energy. Okay, so energy-wise, okay, so kinetic energy, usually you go like this one, say so energy K, which is motion energy. Okay, so equals actually half mv squared. Also, they used for what? Okay, so this energy, right? Okay, very important later, so we're going to find out energy. Let's say somebody threw this baseball, okay, which is, let's say, uh, maybe 100 grams, okay, so baseball. So coming this way, just like this. Okay, then 100 grams, which is, we must use kilogram, right? Okay, that's SI, okay? So which is 0 0.1 kilogram. Great. Now, it's coming this way, how fast? So 100 meters per second speed, how about that? Velocity, coming this way. So in this case, linear, Momentum going to be, hey, very simple. Okay, so 0 0.1 kilogram times velocity, which is 100 meters per second, which is, okay, 0 0.1 times 100, which is 10 kilogram dot meters per second. That is it. Linear momentum. Impulse. Impulse is very similar to momentum. Actually, okay, uh, looks like this. Uh, oh, let's say this one first, the formula. First times that change of time. Okay, so how long it takes. Okay, that's what it is. Also, you remember that force right here, F. Okay, force equals ma, right? So mass times acceleration. Now times, okay, so change of time. Let's say uh, we have a golf ball. Okay, let's say uh, this one maybe uh, 50 grams. How about that? So 50 grams. So it was staying there, see, on the Okay, we call it T, right? Okay, so now uh, you hit this one so hard, okay, it was rest. That means the speed was just the zero, then at rest. Now you hit this one so hard, uh, so this is going to fly. But before that, so you're going to hit this one that it takes time. So another word, contact time, right? Let's say it took maybe one millisecond. Wow, very, very short time, right? Then all of a sudden, this is going to be uh, changing t uh, speed, which is uh, initial speed. This one was 70, let's say 70 meters per second. Very fast, right? So actually, original speed, which is the original velocity, was zero at rest. That's why it was zero momentum, right? Now, after you hit this one so hard, this is going to fly in what? Speed is 50 gram mass uh, goes 70 meters per second. That means mv right here, right? So we can find out mv, which is a linear momentum. Okay, let's find out linear momentum on this one. So for that, we're going to change this one to kilogram, which is 0 0.05 kilogram, right? So simply, okay, momentum for linear momentum for this one, so P equals, okay, MV, which is, okay, 0 0.05, 0 0.05 times, okay, 70 meters, 70 meters per second, 
and this one was kilogram. So the answer for this one, okay, so uh, momentum was what? Okay, uh, times, which is 35, so point, actually 3.5 kilogram meter per second. That's, that's it. Actually, this momentum change, okay, from 0 to 3.5, that's what we call impulse. Okay, so right there. So from this impulse, we can get average force, okay? So uh, equals, simply, f look at this one. So force divided by time, right? Okay, that's it. So uh, we're going to have a whole thing. Impulse was a 3.5, 3.5 kilogram meter per second over the time we took, which was how long? One millisecond, that's right. One millisecond, so we have to convert this one also, right? Okay, which is 0 0.001 second. That's what one millisecond. So we just put this one right here. Okay, 0 0.001, okay, which is second. So we're going to have force, right? So we can reduce by, okay, this S is going to be gone. Now, you just flip over this one times, then means what? Actually, times 1,000, which is 3,500 kilogram meter. So you remember what this one is, right? So 3,500 newtons. That's it. To make sure we have to understand what momentum is, momentum, which is mv, okay, mass times velocity, and impulse. Impulse is almost the same, but momentum change. So from one momentum to the other momentum, right? Okay. So then from this, so we can find out also force. That's it. Very important.